Hi, and welcome to this YouTube video about my custom computer case. This has been a long time project of mine, which I only just completed about two weeks ago. Just an overview, this is my personal desktop PC. Case is an old Antec from Facebook Marketplace. The motherboard is an Asus Prime A3200M-K, nothing exciting. A Ryzen 3, 3200, 16GB of RAM and assorted hard drives. The setup is optimised for 24 hour running, that's why it's sort of relatively underpowered because I'm never in a rush to complete anything. Now the party trick of this case is the front panel. You may be able to see it's constructed from 5mm acrylic plastic with countersunk black hardware with this nice recess down the middle. Down the sides there are some hexagonal holes to allow airflow through the front panel to the interior fans. The airflow isn't great, but it's the best I can do for the moment. The front panel is imperfect, of course. I made this myself, it's, it's nothing particularly special machining wise. There are a few rough edges and things I would have done differently if I do this again, but overall I'm very pleased with the result. If I plug the PC in, you'll see what the, the party piece of this uh, custom case is. You can now see the really pleasing part of this case, the fancy lights. Down the middle is a random but pleasing LED pattern and to the side are two meters showing the 12 volts and the 5 volt rail. What's quite nice about this is if you're ever doing anything intensive or you're spinning up hard drives you can actually see the meters dip down and then dip back up again as the power supply overcompensates for the new current draw. This case is inspired from a Connection Machine CM5, which I think is the most stylistic supercomputer ever designed. Here are a couple of photographs and videos from the CM5 in action. The main motivator for this project is the pretty LED pattern. The CM5 is also in my favourite movie Jurassic Park, which you can see briefly. I can hear you saying, if you never turn off this PC, then these lights must get really annoying. And you're, you're right, they do. Um, how do you sleep with this thing on? Well, there's a good question. There is a relay in the front panel that can be controlled in software so I can turn the LEDs off and on as I please, which is really quite handy. Using this software here, you can see how I can control the front panel however I like. The nice thing about the software is it's even automatable, so I can have this set up to do this you know, before I go to sleep or turn on in the morning. This is also a little easter egg I put in. You can see it now, just a way of refreshing all the LEDs to make sure none of them burn out unevenly. Now I'll just uh, cycle like that. Should we have a look behind the front panel? So, here we can see the LED panels as a series of smaller PCBs strung together. Uh, an 80 mega 328 processor down here on this smaller board runs the show. The software is written in the Arduino IDE. On the other side of these meters showing the 12 volt and the 5 volt rail. Again, there are self-contained 80 mega 328Ps, 17 LEDs being driven from the chip. And up here is the magic relay, which is controllable from USB. You may be able to see the contrast there and that can turn on the uh, everything on the front panel. There may be future videos showing how the hardware was designed and design issues and challenges and constrained space if people are interested. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching my video. Please feel free to leave any questions in the comments section. Have a nice day.